All right. So my research project was looking at how um, well intoxicated college students were able to guess their blood alcohol content or their BAC, and I based that off their ability to think if they could legally drive, so if they were below or above 0.08%. And I did this because driving after drinking is a huge problem, it causes accidents and everything. So what I did was I asked students who were coming back from the bar if they would like to be part of the study and if they had been drinking. And if they had and they were willing to participate, I asked whether or not they thought they could drive at, legally, that they were perfectly fine below 0.08. They would say yes or no. Then what I did was I breathalyzed them with the breathalyzer University Police provided me and I took down their actual BAC levels. So I compared those results to whether or not they were correct or not to what their estimations were. And the results showed that those who had a BAC above 0.08, they were actually more likely to be correct, which is the blue right here. So that showed in my null, um, I was able to reject my null hypothesis, which stated that BAC does not have an influence. So in conclusion, that means that BAC does have an influence. Those with a higher BAC are more likely to be accurate when comparing themselves to be able to drive or not.